Again, I'm still working on this uh, everyday shen paper. Uh, new paper we find very smooth and absorbent, but yet retain the spirit of each of the stroke. Um, the best thing is the color variation of the paper. It is velvety. Uh, I like to share the light blooming series. Uh, night flower that is legendary in China. So we'll start out with a little bit white with a hint of yellow and then the tip touching a bit tiny bit of red. So we're going to do mostly a pink flower. We'll start from the center with petal folding in the middle. And then extending it out. It's very light. Continue expanding to form kind of a U shape. And we'll work some of the petal from outside in. and forming a circle and leaving the middle area open. And now we'll still work on the red, but adding darker red. I kept all the colors still on the brush, but tip touching red and darker red. And working from the center, I call this build a wall, you see. And then I launch the stroke by pivoting the brush and settle the pressure. And allow the stroke go up until it kiss the root of the top petals. That way the color will integrate. Cool. So settle the pressure, pivot the brush, and lead the brush up until it touch the root, like so. So now we have, using the dark, forcing this light petal 
forward. Still working white with red. A little bit darker. We start building the perimeter. from both sides. Some crisscrossing and then reaching to the top. Working a few darker ones to form a rainbow shape on top. As the petal extend out, it gets a little skinnier. And some in the front will do some check mark. to indicate some of those petal curving foreshortened in the front. So within this flower, you can see there's a variety of different shape. And now we're going to have some green with yellow. And then the tip still touching red. Hmm, you see a hint of green showing up? from Cody, my grandson, when he's eating broccoli, he has that ooh sound. All right, should I do just a couple more? Yes. We'll do this to add some characters. Enough, yes. In the center, we have some bleed proof white with yellow, but mostly white, concentrated. And having it landed to show statement pollen dots. They are lining up almost like Minatory formation. And each is held with fine thread. What are they doing there? They are saluting and trying to catch the attention 
of this lady who is like a octopus with many arms reaching at the top. Hmm. And some of the guys obviously have no chance, but they are fading to add support to their fellow guys. Literally, there could be hundreds, thousands of them in the middle. Cool. And then we'll use maybe a wash brush. And I'll have the vermilion with some yellow, with some green. It's kind of a desert flower. So there's like cactus leaf. So we have it drooping down. ones Ooh. and they can be on both sides Showing both sides. And some can be green with hint of dark red. In and out. Oh, we need to have an extension out to reach the root of the flower here. Heading up, attach. Maybe some tiny little buds And the plant can keep growing a, just a little bit more to surround and add support to our lovely flower. How is that?